Hey guys, it's Jen. It's been forever since I filmed a video. Um, and this one, I'm not making any projects. I'm just sharing some layouts that I've completed recently. And I think actually the one you're looking at now I put up on my blog. So you may have seen this before. But I have a whole stack of them here. Um, and I thought I'd just go ahead and share a few because I love looking at everyone's projects. So this was just one that I did for Easter. And I actually used a lot of the Tim Holtz um, die cuts for the um, bunnies in the corner and the butterflies up in the left. And then I used his um, alphabet, I think it's called Carnival, for um, Easter. And the pendants are cut with Stephanie Bernard's uh, Framelits by Sizzix. Those are just the um, pennant banners. And the paper mostly is from the Dear Lizzie collection and the new Neapolitan. This ruffle I got in a Studio Calico kit. I would not have purchased that on my own, but um, it came in the kit and I actually think it turned out kind of cute. So... It's a little more frilly than what I usually would buy. But this is, I thought, a good example of using Tim Holtz dyes in a more um, feminine way. So, anyway, that's the first one. Let's see. And continuing on with Easter, this is just a quick layout I did with the old Dear Lizzie um, paper that I had this in my stash and I just absolutely loved it but never... Um, Whoops, had a chance to use it, and I thought it worked well for just some egg dyeing pictures. So I didn't want to spend too long on that, and I have a couple of other really quick ones that I did as well. And this is also, I believe, another paper from the Dear Lizzie Neapolitan collection. Um, the pinwheels came from there. This The sticker title is October Afternoon, and then just some miscellaneous... Um, embellishments that I had in my stash. So it's not often that I put photos on without matting them or put them flush touching each other, but I thought it worked okay in this case. So, and those actually were from cell phone pictures and I think they turned out pretty well. And then here's one that is with the Amy Tangerine fabric paper. And that actually was hard to get adhesive to stick to it. So I used um, some Zip Dry and my glue glider pro permatac so um, these were just kind of two random unrelated pictures but both from um, our trip to Pittsburgh so just a little again quick quick page I didn't want to spend too much time and I also wanted to cover up this flower a little bit and so I added some embellishment I think the sticker is October afternoon and everything else I believe is dear Lizzie okay and then here's a, a layout that oh my gosh I had this one half completed forever and I'm not super happy with it here let me make sure you guys can see all of that sorry but this is from a trip to San Francisco that my husband and I took oops let me center that can you see that but the top craft paper is American crafts and oh gosh forgive me I don't know the name of the collection but it has little lanterns in the background of it that I just loved that I thought were perfect for these pictures of Chinatown I cut the title with my silhouette and then these are just creative memory stickers the borders a quick cut speed borders probably my single most used and loved die um, and again, I didn't want to cover up this. The spacing is what I don't really care for on this layout, but I didn't want to cover up too much of the pattern paper because I love those lanterns. And then this is a quick cut style um, where I was able to mimic the lanterns um, again in the pictures of Chinatown and just a fun, fun photo. So um, anyway, I was happy to actually have that one completed. Okay, and then I finally got started on my son's Holland trip album. I'm so excited. Uh, we're headed to Europe at the end of June, and he went last year. He's only 12, but he plays for a soccer team that um, has a lot of really good opportunities given to the kids. So last year he was able to go to Holland, and my husband went with him, so this is my other son, saying goodbye. And I haven't put the um, title or journaling on this page yet, but the background is uh, basic grays, six by six papers from the Wonder collection. Sorry, I couldn't think of the name. And so I just merged, trimmed them down and merged them all together and put a cluster of photos on top. And this tag was just orange uh, cardstock that I stamped with a Tim Holtz um, kind of ticket stamp. And I used his pumice stone distress ink because it's kind of like a gray. So I thought that made a really cool background. So I intend to put 
a title on here, um, maybe saying goodbye or something like that, and perhaps add a little journaling um, tucked in behind. So these tags, are metal tags, are also a new release from Tim Holtz Ideology. I wanted to use some metal on this page because the page that's going to go opposite of it in the album had some metal clips on it. So in any case, this is almost done, just a title, and I'll be finished. The idea that I want to go with on this album is really trying to keep things a little bit more simple so that I can actually get this album done before we leave for our trip at the end of June. So just kind of clean and simple scrapping. So on opposite of this page, you can see the colors. It's not the same collection. This is the Heidi Swap collection, but the colors uh, match well enough that it won't look out of place. So let me make sure you've got this centered for you. I love, love, love these new Heidi Swap um, file folders, but I'm not using them the way she intends the system to be used. In other words, I'm actually going to put them on a 12 by 12 layout. So what I did is this orange cardstock is hers too. Trimmed it, matted it on craft because the whole album is going to have craft um, either background or elements in it to hopefully tie things together. But in any case, I used one of the file folders on here and I added Tim Holtz's new um, border strip, these rounded circles on the bottom just to kind of ground it so it didn't look like it was floating. Uh, a few pictures matted on the front and just mounted them askew purposefully to make it kind of fun and whimsical. These are two Studio Calico tickets from the Abroad collection and it actually worked pretty well with the Heidi Swap colors as are these two paper clips. So the idea is I'm probably not going to put a page protector on this page. I'll leave these two clips here which I can't get enough of these clips. I'm gonna have to buy a ton of them. So anyway you take the clips off. Oh oops. And this is one of her vinyl stickers Adventure. So it just says Adventure Awaits and these are Studio Calico letter stickers too. And then when you open it up, I don't have the inside quite done because I want to add some journaling and more memorabilia, but you know, a couple of pictures just kind of stuck in here. I want it to look like an old fashioned scrapbook. And here's where I'll have my husband and son maybe do some journaling and maybe some more down here. And then I put our, um, or their boarding passes and tickets, um, in the bottom of the folder too. So the idea is inside it's going to look kind of messy and sloppy and handwritten and journaly, but I love that look and I love that I can um, hide it in this folder because it's so cute and it had a map pattern on there and I just really was happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to use more of these in my scrapbooking. She's got a lot of them that are printed in two different collections and then also a set that I believe you can mist or color on your own. So I haven't tried those yet. But anyway, that page again, these will go opposite one another in the album. And then, let's see, I've got two more. Again, they're not exactly the same, but they'll go opposite one another. And the one on the right is obviously not complete yet, but I'll give you the idea of what they look like. Da -da. Oops, sorry guys. There you go, that's better. Okay, so on the left, this came from the Basic Gray Wonder page kit. I love Basic Grace page kits. I don't use them exactly as you're supposed to. I kind of take the elements and make my own. But the background papers are kind of pre-designed. So in other words, this border strip is all actually printed on the page. So it's not dimensional, it's flat. But you could easily make it look dimensional if you just trimmed it and overlapped it a little. In fact, I trimmed down the whole piece of paper here to fit it on the craft. So I could have added that additional layer if I wanted to. But it was really, really easy to go ahead and put this down. The file folder it came with was a little too big, so I trimmed it down and just rounded the corner, and I used some of the chipboard embellishments that it came with. Again, this is a Studio Calico tag and a Studio Calico um, paper clip. I love those. Then this was just an old journal card I had in my stash, and again, I'm going to make my husband fill this out, because this is, they landed at the Brussels airport, and then they had to take a bus to Holland where they were going to be. So he's going to write down um, some memorabilia or some thoughts about that and then on the right is where they were staying it actually was a youth hostel but a nice one and I don't have the name um, I didn't have it handy when I was working on the page so I'm going to go ahead and put the title and then leave rooms for some journaling there so this was just when they kind of arrived and were hanging out in front of the area so let's see what else I used on here the edge to just give this a little bit of texture I used the Jenny Bowl and Ticket Punch and then I also used it in the background of the orange there 
the papers that are behind this kind of photo block were from Basic Gray's Wonder collection, the 6x6. Six six. So it's a way to kind of cheat. It's just two 6x6 six six blocks of paper rather than one 12 by um, 6 inch strip. So I think it worked out really well. Again, just some little embellishments here or there. This says you have arrived. So room for journaling and a title. So that one's not quite done. But I was really tickled with how this turned out. I thought that was great. And let's see what else. I think that's really all I have to share today. But I'm happy I got started on the Holland album, though. So I just thought I'd show you guys some layouts, and I hope everyone has a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, also, I wanted to let everyone know I actually have been kind of AWOL because I've started an online scrapbook store called UrbanPaperCraft.com. So I've got a lot of the supplies I used um, on the Holland album in stock. I don't have the Heidi Swap stuff in stock yet, but look for it. It's going to be up very soon. Um, but anyway, I'd love for you guys to check it out. Again, kind of taking a more um, clean line and urban feel on scrapbook papers and then also a lot of mixed media elements to incorporate into your scrapbooking too. Some Tim Holtz and uh, Diane Reevely delusions and some stamping products and so forth. So I'd love for you guys to check it out. It's urbanpapercraft.com. I'll put a link up um, when I edit this video. And thanks for watching, guys. Happy scrapping!